You know how there's always news of astronomers finding a second Earth or some sort of potentially habitable planet? And it gets your hopes up by saying, yeah, this place could hold water and could have alien life. But then they tell you we may never be able to find out because that planet is like 10 bajillion light years away from Earth. But this time, astronomers say they have potentially identified a planet we could eventually call home. And yes, it's still pretty far away and pretty much unreachable with our current technology, but this is supposed to be the closest exoplanet we could ever discover. And it's only four light years away. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. And what our astronomers are calling our best bet of finding water or alien life outside of our solar system, and of course dubbed again as a second Earth, astronomers have found a planet orbiting the Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to the Sun. The planet is called Proxima b. It is about 1.3 times the size of Earth, and it orbits its Sun every 11.2 days, which means its years are only about 11 days long. So you could literally move there and live to be thousands of years Years old. Proxima b is a lot closer to its sun than the Earth is to our sun, almost 15 times closer. But since its sun is much smaller and cooler than ours, Proxima b only receives about two-thirds the amount of light and heat than Earth, which means it sits in the Goldilocks zone. Which, if you don't get the reference, means the planet is not too hot or too cold for water to remain liquid. And although the planet is only four light years away, it's still incredibly far and would take us 30,000 years to reach it with current technology, but researchers believe that future generations of spaceships could travel to the planet in the next few decades. Dr. Mi Kotiomi from the University of Hertfordshire, who was part of the discovery team, said, according to the findings, the planet has a rocky surface and is only a fraction more massive than the Earth. It is the closest possible exoplanet to us and may be the closest to support life outside the solar system. Co-author Dr. John Barnes from the Open University said, if further research concludes that the conditions of its atmosphere are suitable to support life, this is arguably one of the most important scientific discoveries we will ever make. Sounds optimistic, but don't pack your bags yet, guys, because living on this thing would not be so pleasant. One side of the planet is always facing its sun, and the other side is always dark. And because of the likelihood of strong solar flares, the planet could be blasted by powerful ultraviolet rays and x-rays. I want to talk about the second Earth thing for a moment here. Um, can we just stop calling every potentially habitable planet we find a second Earth. I mean, when you first hear it, it sounds pretty cool. Ooh, a second Earth sounds so inviting. But then every time one of these planets gets discovered, and there has been hundreds of them, they're all a second Earth. Can we just call one of them a second Earth and the rest are like the third Earth and the fourth Earth? I mean, just think about this. Let's say we did eventually discover that there are alien life on these planets and very advanced alien life. What are we going to do when they visit and be like, peace, Earthling, I'm Valorian from what you refer to as the second Earth. And you're like, Ooh. sorry, mate. Which uh, second Earth are you referring to? The third one, the 300th? I'm sure we all want to avoid that awkward intergalactic conversation. But let me ask you guys, let's say this potentially closest second Earth is travel a ball, and we don't know the actual conditions of the planet, but we can get a bunch of people there. Key is, you could never come back. Would you be one of the first travelers to go exploring this new planet? All right, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. See you.